Hello everybody, welcome back. In the last video, we built some Echo servers. Um, and then now we're going to actually build our Go project. So, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is have a project folder for that. So let's say make directory API, API, okay. We're going to have, uh, let's do, let's have a make file in here as well. So we can build easily. We'll have, we'll do a readme as well. Because, you know, maybe we want some Go specific readme stuff here. Um, then we need a main.go and then okay oh let's install the go and six extensions here so I forgot we are in a raw you know this is about as low you know just a raw operating system okay there we go and then we'll say package oh no okay install all this is gonna take a little bit um, I'm gonna pause this because this this actually takes a little bit, so I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, looks like that completed. So let's go ahead and continue. Uh, we don't need well. Let's import. Let's uh let's actually just do a couple quick things here. We'll import log. We'll say funct main log dot print ln server or let's see application has run. Yay. We'll save that. Oh, got more to do. Okay, I'll pause it again just a second. Okay, it looks like it's actually done this time. So let's save. Oh, good. Okay, let's run it. So go run. Oops, run main, and it runs. Good. Okay, our looks like our environment's all set up. So we are going to be building a basic server. So the very first thing we need to do is choose. We're going to do everything in raw HTTP or use a framework. I don't want to do everything in raw HTTP just because routing can be a little bit difficult, especially for a large app. But I don't want to be use a framework that does all the magic for us. So in my opinion, I feel like Gorilla Mux really is kind of the best solution for that. Where it does a little bit of things for you, some of the more mundane stuff, but it doesn't do everything for you. So uh, anyway, let's uh, go ahead and um, start doing that. So the first thing we need to do is grab a port number. My wife's laughing at me. Anyway. Uh, port, it's going to be an integer, and we're going to have an init function, so, oops, uh, function, function, init, <laughs> I love you, anyway, um, so, oh, I got distracted, okay, so, we need to grab this off the environment, so we're going to say, um, port, well, we're going to say raw port, is equal to os dot get env. Oops, env. We're gonna say port like so, and then that should return a string. So you can see it's a function that takes a string and returns a string. Okay, and then we're gonna say if length of raw port, oops, raw port is greater than zero, then we're going to assign port equal to that value. So we're going to say string conversion dot um, a to i, so character to integer of raw port. Going to save that. What's it complaining about here? Oh, that's right. And we have an error, possibly an error here. And we'll say, huh, let's do this. Far error, there we go. And we'll say if error is not equal to nil, we're going to throw an error. We're going to say we're just going to panic because this is so early in the application. There's no reason to, to even bother even continuing. Um, most of them you don't want to do this, but I mean, if, if the very first thing you try to do fails, it just, just you know, you're, you're done. Um, and we'll have an else statement here. And we'll say port. We'll default to port, I don't know, 8,000. It really doesn't matter. Um, okay. So now we have a port number for the server. And now we need to have a very basic server. So let's go to our directory over here. We're going to um, create a new folder called server. And we're going to create a file called server dot, oops, whoa, dot go. I say package server type server struct. Okay, we don't, we're not going to have anything in there right now. You know what? Let, let's do it. Uh, port is integer, address is. Well, and we'll explain what all this stuff is later on. String. Um, okay, we're going to say function 
new server. Uh, it's going to return a pointer, pointer to serve. Oops, server. I'm going to say server is equal to new server. We're going to just create a, a server, um, a raw pointer. You know what? Let, let's do it this way instead. I actually have a better idea. Server is equal to server, like so. And we're going to pass in the port number, which is an integer. And we're going to say server.port is equal to port. And then we're going to return a reference to server. There we go. And it's a quick comment. So um, new server creates a new server server this is the server object um, this is terrible commenting but you know this is just a demonstration so you don't have to have perfect commentity okay um, and then uh, you want to have let's attach some functionality to this server so you want to have uh, we're going to use this new server as our initialization function so we don't need that function but we do need a start function so we're going to say function uh, pointer to sir oops uh, server pointer to server object. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it's going to return, maybe return an error. So we're going to say error, error. And then we're going to return. We need to, oh, we need to name this. So start, start, starts the server service. There we go. Okay, now we need to actually create a server that will run. So give me just a second here. And let's go ahead and create this HTTP server. So, you know what? We actually do not need an error object because we will panic if it doesn't run. We're going to use a, the um, Gorilla Mux um, library to handle that. So, go get, I believe I already did this, but we'll just make sure dot com uh, Gorilla Mux. You know what we're going to do? We're going to add this to our make file make file so install and we're going to force update on this so one thing I want to mention is you can use DEP for um, for running your servers but uh, when you get into using docker images and whatnot I find it's actually more cumbersome than just to run things like this and it may, you may be like Nick come on use a package manager I mean that's what everyone else is doing and, and I understand the argument but I really think that once you get to running docker images and whatnot this will make a lot more sense while we're doing it this way um, anyway um, okay so now we need to actually create the actual server itself so Let's see here, package. Okay. Stop. I'm getting an error here. Okay. So now we actually have an actual server here. So oh, that needs to be a pointer. Oops. Save that. It'll import it automatically for us. Nice and easy. And then... We need to go here and let's um, say uh, s dot HTTP server is equal to a new uh, new instance of HTTP server with some of these properties. Let's see, we have address is going to be um, s dot address. We'll we'll actually add that here in a minute. Um, handler is going to be nil for right now. We actually don't have a handler read timeout is going to be um, 10 times time dot second okay write timeout 10 times time dot oops time dot second okay and then we want to have the max header bytes it's going to be there we go oh we need a comma there we go okay and then we will take so the address is actually going to be this. So address is a string, right? So we're going to say um, address is equal to. We need a port. We need a um, mark with the port. And we'll say string conversion i to a, which is integer to character. And we're going to say port. There we go. Oop. Equal to. 
<laughs> you guys are probably screaming at me. There we go. And that should go. And then we'll say, um, let's see here. You know what? I think we're actually going to add this into the init. I think this might actually be a better place. We'll, um, I think, yeah, we're going to do it here. This is actually, I think, a better place to put it at. And we'll put the we'll put the handler and stuff in here. I was thinking before I'll do it in the start, but actually, you should do it in the init, actually. Um, I think that might actually be a better place to do it. And then, oh, just a second. I got to take care of something. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, uh, and now we're going to do... Let's uh, let's do print uh, so server started on port and we'll do port. There we go. Uh, what's it complaining about? Define. Oh, oops. There we go. Um, and server dot address. There we go. Okay. And we'll say uh, log dot. Oops. Log dot fatal. And we'll say uh, s dot http server dot listen and serve. We're not doing SSL. We're, we'll handle that with like uh, Kubernetes. Okay. And then let's go ahead and run the server. Go run main. Oh, has run. What did I not do here? Oh, <laughs> be helpful to actually create a server and run it, right? Okay, so we're going to need to import it. So um, we're going to import it from github.com. And what was the path that we were using here? Uh, learning and project. Okay. So learning project. And then we're going to do API and then server. And we're going to call that um, server factory. We'll just call it server factory. Like so. Oops. And we'll say... Um, server is equal to the new server, okay, and we want to pass in the port number there, there, like so, and then we can say server dot start, like that, okay. So we've imported. So uh, real quick, I'm going to just go over this real quick. Uh, if you don't know what's going on here, we're using um, absolute paths, not real. Well, I guess in a sense it is relative because Go starts here at the source. But basically, if you look at the path here, remember we went earlier when we set the Go path? We set, hey, start here at this project's Go. Well, it knows to look inside the source folder for any request here. So like here I'm requesting for this data here. So it knows to go into this path right here and find that because I'm telling it here. Um, Anyway, if, if that doesn't make sense, I hope it does now. Okay, run main. And our server's running. Yay! Now, if we try to curl, it's going to fail because there's no handler at all. But I'll, I'll, I'll show you. The local host 8000 8, says, ah, page not found. Because remember before, um, in the server... Well, let's close this down. And close that down. Oh, my gosh. Close this and that and that and that and that. We're not doing node at the moment. Okay. Um, earlier we had set our handler to nil. So right now there's no, it doesn't, it doesn't handle any routes, it just runs. So um, we'll add a router, router in here later on. Okay. All right. Nice to, uh, this worked out pretty well, it seems like. Um, hope, hope you guys enjoyed this and it worked well for you. Um, if you have any questions, please post down in the comments below. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.